Hey guys, what's up? This is Metro Boy 16 and um, I'm sorry I haven't done videos in a while. I had been away on a weekend for a week on a um, vacation, so I haven't been able to do videos for a while. So that's why you haven't seen new videos put up on my channel lately. So just to let you know, guys know that. So what you have in front of you is the Rock Crawler Junior by Maester Tech. By, sorry, by Maesto Tech. So, this is the um, older version of the version they have out today. So, yeah, so we're going to be doing the review of it. So, with this uh, rock crawler, you really do get a decent design on it. It, look, it. You have a truck design on it. And it is really, you can see it, they really put in some detail on the truck. You can see the vents for the motor. It has headlights, a front bumper, and sponsor stickers on there for if it were doing racing or something like that but the design of the 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 design of it is very decent you can see they put in a lot of work to make it look very nice and somewhat realistic for a toy grade rc so you see the tires here these um these are very very soft um air filled pneumatic tires they're rubber but they're very, very soft, so they can grip things very easily, which is which makes this thing helps with the rock crawling capabilities of the car itself to make it rock crawl very easily. So um, with this, um, you see it has a motor in the back, and it has a motor in the front. So it has independent motors for front and rear to give it that extra bit of torque for doing rock crawling. And it has a separate motor on the front, which is in the back there, for the steering on the car. So if you want to steer left or right, you, that motor is what controls that. And it has... Maester Tech did a very good job with their suspension. They, this is perfect. This is probably the best suspension I've seen for a toy grade RC. It is very soft. It works very well, and it will. It actually shows while you're driving this thing. And you can see, if I pick up one wheel, none of the rest of the car's wheels come off the ground because of how nice the shock or shocks are on this vehicle. So, if we flip it over, you can see we have the white, this white little knob here, and this is for your steering turn around and this is for your steering so when you're driving and the car goes to one way you would turn this in the opposite way in and you can use that to help adjust your steering if the car's not running straight and um so right here this is your battery compartment and if i open this up you'll be very disappointed with what's underneath This takes n six double A batteries, and sadly, this does not. This is not compatible with other nine volts from New Bright or uh, or any other RC toy grade RC brand. This does not. These bat. It's not compatible for any of those batteries because of how this is. Um, how this um, battery ca carriage is designed. It has the individual dividers for the batteries, so you cannot put in any other type of batteries unless you have individual rechargeable AA batteries. So you'll find that you'll be spending a lot of money replacing the batteries. So if we, And if we put the battery cover back on, it goes in rather easily. You just put it in, line up the two little prongs with the two little receptacle holes on the underside of the chassis, and then you close this little latch here and then it locks right up and then we will be showing you guys how this performs oh and before I do that I'll show you guys it has a tri-band controller ABC so you can have up to three of these running at the same time and you can actually select which channel you are on on this and on the remote so yeah and with the remote it is a uh, pistol gr it's a pro it's somewhat of a pro grade style pistol grip remote but it only has it has it's either it doesn't have any di digital proportional it doesn't have digital proportional steering or digital proportional speed 
but it does have the channel selector there so you can be what on whatever channel you want and the controller itself takes not takes a nine volt battery so we'll show you guys how this thing performs on road first so with this car um it has um so you see it's actually really fast for a rock crawler it's not a very slow whoops sorry about that it's not a very slow rock crawler and it's very it's very the steering is very responsive on it whenever it comes to doing the proper steering so it is very it's slow but it's meant to be slow so let's see how the torque is on this you can see the torque there so we're going to go off into the grass here and you can see it's it slows down a little bit, but that's just because you don't have any of that downhill featuring. And so we're in the we're in these flowers here, and you can see I'm not I'm not going to I'm backing up out of the flowers because my friend over here told me not to do that. So we're going to go onto this tree stump here and show you guys how good the rock crawling capability of this rock crawler is. So, but this can this is a very decent rock crawler and you can actually see the independent the suspension actually absorbing and making it so the body of the car stays upright so i'll show you guys um, that this can actually handle a quite a bit of of a, of a fall thanks to the suspension so we're going to drive it off the curve here and you see it had very little bounce due to that so it is a very decent when it comes to the suspension and it, and it can go up curves and other things so yeah you can see it it can go up pretty decent sized obstacles i know i know i know how to do it you do it like so I'll turn it around and i'm doing this with only one hand and pistol grip is not my best uh type of control but you can up oh, but you can see it, it can really climb up certain things. It can climb up the curve, but you just have to do it in a very certain way, which I can't do. But I'll show you guys. Just get let you guys um, see how the performance of this car is, and actually let you guys see for yourself what this thing really is a what the performance is of it, and let you guys think what you think of it. I will. So, alright, so, sorry about that, but it can go off some serious off-road turf and other things, and this is a, for a toy grade, this is personally one of my favorite rock crawlers that I've played with or used because it's so responsive and it works so well. So anyway, um, this has ended my uh, review of the uh, of the Maestro Tech Rock Crawler Junior, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Please do not forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you guys later. Bye.